The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Remember that in the previous section, we used a number line to assign lengths to segments. In this section, we'll be using a protractor shown here to assign measures to angles. Notice that a protractor uses measures of 0 to 180 degrees. So let's take a look at the angles that are now shown superimposed on the protractor. Notice that the measure of angle BOE is 130 degrees. The measure of angle COE is 80 degrees, and the measure of angle DOE is 45 degrees. Note that when representing the measure of an angle, we use a lowercase m in front of the angle symbol. Now let's find the measures of some angles that are more difficult to work with. First, angle BOC. To find the measure of this angle, we simply take the larger degree measure, which in this case is formed by ray OB at 130 degrees, minus the smaller degree measure, which is formed by ray OC at 80 degrees, to get 130 minus 80, or 50. Therefore, the measure of angle BOC is 50 degrees. To find the measure of angle AOD, notice that the larger degree measure is 180 and the smaller degree measure is 45, so the measure of angle AOD is 180 minus 45, or 135 degrees.